Labrīt, Reini. Labrīt. Labrīt, kolēģi, tik tiešām atrodos arēnā Rīga. Šobrīd man aiz muguras tiek gatavots ledus šeit arēnā, kur jau pavisam drīz maijā norisināsies pasaules čempionāta grupa turnīrs. Ledus, kā redzams, tiek gatavots. Līnijas vēl nav uzzīmētas, tā kā pirmā ledus kārtiņa, bet lielais fokus uz šo trešdienu, jo basketbola klubs prometēja, ka šajā sezonā aizvada mājas spēles un ir bazējusies Rīgā, Latvijā. Aizvadīs Eiropas kausts ceturtdaļu fināla cīņu, izšķiroši cīņo tikai. Šī turnīra uzvarētājs viena komanda no Eiropas kausa nodrošinās vietu Eirolī turnīrā. Šobrīd agrā rīta stundā agrāk nekā ierasts. Man pievienojušies divi prometēji basketbolisti Aleksandrs Lipovskijs un Džajans Klavels. Un ar viņiem runāšu angļu valodā un mēģināšu arī, protams, patulkot. Un kā jau minēja agrs rīts, pajautāšu, kā tad ir tik agri celties. Good morning, guys. Usually, what time do you wake up? And thank you for being up so early this morning. I normally wake up around nine, because I take my daughter to school. Uh, pretty much just every day, um, unless we have a big travel, but other than that, I like my sleep. But it's okay, I appreciate being on the show and, you know, uh, you know people in Labia fans, you know, to be able to see and um, know a little bit more about us. Jā, tā tad parasti ceļās ap deviņos, jo tad jāved meita uz skolu, ja precīzāk dārziņu, kā es pirms tam noskaidroju, bet jebkurā gadījumā ir liels prieks būt rīta panorāmā un kopā ar jums un iepazīstināt savu klubu ar skatītājiem, tie, kas vēl nezina. Aleksandr, Rīga ir hometown this year of your club. Some Latvian words, uh, what Latvian culture, some, some surprises for you? Just a couple, it's uh, Labrīt and uh, Paldies. It's uh, what the guys, my friends, uh, teach me, and uh, that's it. I think it's just a couple, but I have time to learn more. Labrīt un paldies! Tās ir lietas, kas pagaidām ir iemācītas latviešu valodā. Prasīju par to, kā tad ir apgūvuši latviešu valodu šeit, Rīgā, kur bāzējas komanda. I will ask the question. You come from Kharkiv, Ukraine. I know it's hard to switch off during the season. What happens in Ukraine? Tell me the situation in Kharkiv and what your family family tells about it. The situation is really difficult because the Russians still continue to bomb our cities and to kill civilians and kids. You know, and my mom now she's still in Kharkiv. It's a little bit better than in the winter time because in winter time, like we have problem with electricity, with heating. You know, sometimes like you don't have power in like two, three days. You know, just sit and cold at home. And now is the weather coming better, and she got the work. And like you know, we don't need to forget the war is continuing. You know, and like you see the Latvia government and the people of Latvia, they support very much. You know, the Ukraine. You see many our flags in the city, you know, it's uh, like you feel like sometimes you feel like at home, you know, here. It's uh, very thankful for them, you know. And my brother, he's in Kiev, also work and uh, like he start, he, he tried to continue his life, you know. Jā, protams, prasīju Aleksandram par to, kāda situācija. Viņš pats nāk no Harkivas un radinieki joprojām atrodas Ukrainā. Māsa strādā, brāls strādā atšķirīgās pilsētās, bet joprojām krievi turpina bombardēt pilsētas un nogalināt bērnus un civili iedzīvotājus. Bet Aleksandrs ir ļoti priecīgs, ka šad tad šeit Latvijā var justies kā mājās, jo redzam gan kā Latvijas valdība, Latvijas cilvēka atbalsta Ukrainu, kā vien var dažādiem spēkiem un arī priecē tas, ka ir Ukrainas karoga pilsētās. Tagad jautāšu par to, kā tad veicies šajā sezonā par sportisko. 30 uzvars pēc kārtas, uzvara Latvijas Igaunijas basketbola līgā un trešdien jau ceturtdaļu fināla spēle Eiropas kausā. So, 30 win series, you got a lot of injuries in the team, still managed to win Latvijan Estonian title, still managed to win the first playoff game of the Euro Cup and now describe how strong are you before Wednesday game. I mean, we're pretty strong, you know. I mean, we just, it's got to be next up, um, next man up mentality. You know, we cannot be, we sad about, you know, our injured players, but we cannot do nothing about it. We have to, you know, just come back together because I think together we're stronger. And I think we've shown that in the 30 win streak, we win together. It's not individually, it's not one guy, it's all like eight, nine, ten guys, it's the whole team. So um, as long as we stay together and play together, we're going to be fine on Wednesday. 
Jā, tā tad vairāk spēlētāji ir arī savainoti un par spīti tam viņi spēja tāpat uzvarēt Latvijas Igaunijas līgā un kopā varam būt stiprāk par spīti tam, ka kāds no spēlētājiem nevar būt kopā ar mums, tāpat viņi visi ir domās kopā ar mums un tie spēlētāji, kas ir šobrīd savainoti, viņi tāpat tur īkšķis un atbalsta komandu un viņi joprojām ir kā viena vesela komanda un, protams, būs ļoti spēcīgi trešdienu. About Wednesday game, Promete against... Prometheus from Greece, uh, so you have both played in this team, and, yeah. so it's going to be a special game for you? For sure it will be a special game because I played there three years and they know me uh, really well and Jan also played there but in the end of the season and I think uh, with all the supporters what we have uh, last game and the people should come more and support us more because it will be not only game it will be the show you know and uh, i think the people like uh, before also what uh, what we have the last game and uh, we have the winning mentality we should come to the game and to be ready you know ja tā tad trešdien spēle Prometejs, Ukrainas klubs Prometejs spēkosies ar grieķu Prometejus, kas principā ir Prometejs pret Prometeju. Un abi izrādās ir spēlējuši. Aleksandrs pat trīs gadus tur ir nospēlējis ļoti labi viņu pazīst. Viņš ļoti labi pazīst šo grieķu komandu. Un, protams, runājot par to, kāds atbalsts būs šeit arēnā, tas vēl vairāk viņiem piešķiļ, protams, šīs spēles nozīmību. Un, protams, sagaida vēl vairāk cilvēkus šeit arēnā Rīga, nekā tas bija astotdaļa fināla cīņā. And last question about atmosphere here in Arena Riga, so uh, the spectators have uh, come like uh, a thousand, maybe two thousand people here. What do you feel? Do you, do you feel like playing home? I mean, we feel good. We feel, you know, like the support is big. You know, in a couple games, like the last game, we felt that support was amazing. For example, the game was going a bad way and the crowd got into the game and it helped us, you know, win the game at the end. So, I mean, I really, really, really like would like to the fans to, you know to come and come to the game um, like Lipa says it's not only going to be a basketball game it will be a show and uh, it's fun man it's fun you come with your family you come with your kids um, and you know you're watching a basketball game and a show at the same time so I think it doesn't get better than that um, and I do appreciate all the fans you know that um, has been with us through the, all the season you know and um, you know just having each other's back in this war in Ukraine too. So I do, you know, I also want to thank all of them for 